where these uh, thermal vents come close to the surface, you can see this wonderful frosting of sulphur here. It can actually make a pretty good natural pressure cooker. Got my egg. Let's see if I can cook something up. Japan's actually situated on the northwestern edge of the Ring of Fire. It's that famous line that circumscribes the Pacific. And though it's what actually gave birth to these islands, it's actually much more known for its destructive power. Just before I came to live here, the famous Hanshin earthquake killed thousands of people and pretty much razed the whole city of Kobe. Nowadays, though, the Japanese have learned to live with it. And you can occasionally do your cooking with it. Although I might have to wait a while before this is done. This stinking acidic steam blasts out at 100 degrees centigrade. It's forced up through the Earth's crust where molten rock meets underground water. And I'm just hoping the molten rock stays down there, at least until my breakfast's ready. Right, it's time for 10 minutes. Let's see if it's worked. Perfect. I'm not going to eat it though. To be honest, this stink of rotten eggs has put me off food for life. Oh, go on then, I guess I'll give it a go. Oh, pretty good. I'm fun. A little further along the road, it's clear that there's a constant battle between fire and ice here. In the grip of winter, steam keeps the ice at bay, providing a natural haven in an otherwise frozen world. And what's good enough for the swans is good enough for me. That's hot. Oh no, it's too hot. Oh, shit. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> this hot spring is so hot, it's around about 43 degrees, that it's actually too hot to sit in without a couple of great big chunks of ice which melt in about five seconds. I am actually on the verge of heat stroke here. Can you be quiet? I'm talking here. Thank you. One of the best things about being in a country that's born out of volcanic activity is the hot springs. They call them onsen in Japan. And I've never seen one quite like this one here. I mean, quite apart from the fact that it's surrounded by snow-covered mountains and I've got the frozen lake behind me. I've been joined by this huge flock of noisy hooper swans who've come in all the way from Siberia. They've been swooping down low over the lake and making incredible landings on the ice. I haven't seen a single crash landing yet. Oh, 